Good morning. Today we're going to talk about Google Drawings. The first thing you need to do to make a Google Drawing poster is be in your drive, click on New, then More in my case, and then Google Drawings. It opens a new tab for Google Drawing. Eventually, and once it does that, I'm going to title my drawing by clicking up where it says Untitled Drawing and put Summer, because summer is coming. Right now my background is transparent. I can tell because it has that checkerboard look. It means it's transparent. So I'm going to right click, go to Background, and I'm just going to give it a black background right now because I wanted to have a really sharp frame around it. Then I'm going to put an image on top of it. To insert an image, the easiest way is to click on this little square with mountains on it. And then we're going to search Google by clicking on Search. And I'm looking for Summer Meadow. And Enter. So right there I've got lots and lots of choices. I can narrow it down to ones that have a predominance of yellow in them, which is a summery color, or green, which is a summery color, whichever I want to do. I'm going to go yellow, and that, and select and it'll pop my image in. Now if I don't care for this image I could go to replace image and search again or delete that one and search again. Right now I'm going to actually squish this down a little bit by holding a corner and resizing it so that I can then drag it to the center and leave a little more of the frame on top. There we go. So we've got room for a title at the top and then a quote on top of the picture. Now the picture has some really good contrasting in it, but if I click on it, I can actually change the image options. If I go to image options with the image selected on the right side, I can see that it has no recoloring. If I needed to change it really drastically, I click on no recolor and I can choose one of these options. So depending on how funky you want to go, you can change the options. You can also do black and white if you wanted, which is nice. If you can't find a black and white picture that you like, you can make one existing one black and white. I can also go sepia if I want that old western look. Right now I'm going to say no recolor, but I am going to change the contrast a little bit to get a little more funkiness there. Go on. Maybe down the brightness a smidge. So it really brings out that green and the yellow gets really popped there. Nice. That's nice. So I'm going to click the X in image options and I'm ready to begin editing my text boxes and my shapes. 